Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, fabulous superstar Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2022. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month. Without a doubt, big moves happening in the sky now. It starts on the 8th of the month when we will have a very powerful and notable full moon. This full moon takes place in the sign just before yours. And so there is a focus on what's happening on levels of soul and psyche and spirit. However, what makes this especially distinct and especially rare is that it is hand in hand with precision with a retrograde Mars. And so this whole idea of paying attention to what's happening on levels of soul and psyche and spirit, well, it's been an ongoing lesson for you in one way or another. You've been in the middle of it since August. It was at the end of October that Mars went retrograde and will stay retrograde right into January, leaving shadow towards the later part of March as well. So you're nowhere near done this larger cycle. And yet I do think this is perhaps the most important peak moment of the larger Mars retrograde season. You can't talk about this full moon without also talking about that Mars retrograde as well. And so, yes, a lot is stirring within you at this time. On the one hand, an awareness of where you are transforming. And for you, the key ingredient here is where it is that you are ending certain karmic chapters. This can be very powerful, but it happens hand in hand with an awareness that you are doing so because you have so much more yet to do in this lifetime. Sometimes in order to become more of whom it is that we are created to be in a higher, more loving vision for our life, sometimes as part of that, we have to allow ourselves to change and we have to allow ourselves to create space for the new and the next and the exciting to enter. Well, this is one of those moments allowing you to appreciate where certain karmic chapters are coming to a close. And some of those may not be what you expect. They may take you by surprise. There's a maturity here, but there's also likely to be some sadness as well. And the reason I say this is because we do have a supremely harmonious connection to Saturn. That's the maturity and that is rewarded now. You are taking steps that help you to feel more grounded, more secure, uh, that help you to feel like you are honoring this incarnation that much more fully. However, we've also got Neptune speaking in a conversation of tension with that full moon, and that does suggest that there may be some sense of disappointment or even some tears as part of what is changing for you now. And it's okay to acknowledge where it is that not all closures are necessarily elating and completely happy. Sometimes we have to work for those closures, but it makes it that much more rewarding having faith, knowing that you are moving towards bigger and better and more in this lifetime, that you have so much yet to do and that you're getting busy actually doing it and living it simultaneously. Well, that's a wonderful way to navigate this variety of energy at this time. Make sure you're getting enough rest. Chances are you'll need it. That's a good way to practice uh, responsibility and maturity as well thanks to that Saturnian energy. But yeah, Neptune square, that'll make you a little tired. You take care of that, you practice self-care, and you'll be able to cultivate that enthusiasm of the awareness growing within you of all the exciting things coming up ahead, and especially coming up in a brand new year right around the corner. It will be on the 23rd of this month that we will have this month's new moon, and this new moon takes place in your opposite sign. The emphasis on the new is going to be highlighted here because that new moon is at the very beginning 
of that part of the sky for you. And so, yes, the new, the next, in terms of one-on-one -on -one alliances, in terms of people, is very likely to find you now. New business partnerships and professional alliances can feel like they come out of nowhere. They take you very much by surprise. But again, this is the seed moment. This is the very beginning where you may be making connections that end up being consequential for you in the fullness of time. And by that, I mean over the coming six months, those one-on-one -on -one alliances you make now, you are going to more fully explore and understand, and they will come to fruition in terms of how those people may end up blessing your life in all kinds of ways once we navigate further into a brand new year. But of course, this is your opposite sign. I think the overwhelming majority of Cancerians out there are going to experience this energy in the context of love and where it comes to matters of love when we have important lunar energy in your opposite sign it means that someone else is there to help you to understand where you are in love and how you feel about it venus is going to be doing some very interesting things now it is the day before the new moon that venus will speak in supreme harmony with uranus i love this energy for you it is very surprised connections that can take place now that feel like they come out of nowhere or surprising ways in which you're able to navigate forward in the context of love, leaving challenges behind. At the same time though, it is going to be as we move towards the end of the month that Venus starts hanging out closer and closer to Pluto. And this is huge because it was last year in December that Venus was hanging out in the sky close to Pluto as well. And so this is massive. It does suggest that whatever's happening this month is in some way going to reflect what was taking place at the same time last year for you as well. And whatever may be transpiring now is going to help you to understand the events of last year differently in some way. If all of that wasn't enough, we are going to end this month and this year with a newly retrograde Mercury also in your opposite sign as well. I will say this, Mercury retrograde in your opposite sign, breakups that happen tend to not stay broken up. And so do keep that in mind. The likelihood of misunderstandings, miscommunication is especially strong. However, that Mercury, it is going to go direct in January and you'll be able to work through whatever ends up being confusing now. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, all of these energies, I have to say, chances are you are going to be making a meaningful connection with another person. It is about understanding where you are in love and why, how you feel about it. The connection is likely to take you very much by surprise. Like the last thing in the last moment you expect it to show up, it does. But ultimately it becomes part of revealing a deeper truth about you and love. Ultimately, regardless of what happens with this person that you connect with, in some way it will change your trajectory in your understanding of what love is going to mean for you going forward from here. For those of you just starting to date somebody, well, it can be a remarkable time as well. I feel like that new moon either is going to be a fresh start with this person and a sense of being in a partnership with this person or it's going to be a deeper sense of clarity and understanding as to whether this is someone to navigate forward with. I think a lot of Cancerians out there are going to find someone brand new shows up at a time like this, where it starts to feel as if those key lessons and connections and that really sense of a meaningful bond with another person very likely is going to show up with somebody brand new. Now, again, it takes you very much by surprise, but there can be a lot of delight in the mix. If it is that this ends up being the person that you end up navigating forward with towards partnership, that too could take you very much by surprise. However, as you move towards the end of the month and therefore end of the year, where there are some complicating factors, likely they will start to stir and you'll get to figure out what it is you want to do with it. And for those of you in an established bond, well, look, either this is a brand new beginning with your partner, fresh chapters, fresh insights that you love, or this is going to be in some ways a different perspective to challenges that might have been there in December of last year, where that applies. If that is the case, 
This is a chance to see it differently in some way with a fresh perspective to figure out what it's going to mean in terms of navigating forward. It's a chance to demonstrate that perhaps the two of you learned those lessons and now get to do things differently or not. But remember, Mercury goes retro in the last days of this month, which means that breakups that happen tend to not stay broken up. Misunderstandings are that much more likely. And so whatever you may be coming to realize, it really is okay. Do pace yourself. Now, the exception to this rule of breakups happening, not staying broken up, is if you broke up before, but you came back, uh, you thought you were sure, but then you weren't so sure, and then your partner promised something, and then there you are, now you get sure. So if it's a second go at breaking up, or a third go, or a fourth go, that's when it's more likely to stick. Although, I say that with caution, the overwhelming majority of Cancerians out there are going to find this a time of immense bonding and closeness and new ways of understanding each other that fortify the bond. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It is a valuable and meaningful astrological moment. For you, I am going to say, I love how much consequence this time has for you. Each one of the big celestial moments I mentioned are important those healthy closures taking place so that you can live more fully and really connect with an enthusiasm and drive to live that much more and to do that much more in this lifetime is there with that full moon, then love is so magnified for you as we approach the last week of this year and all that's happening around that. But here's another layer to consider. On the 20th of the month, Jupiter is going to go back into the top of your sky, setting the stage for big career blessings that are going to take you right into the middle of the coming year. It is going to be Jupiter that's going to be in chapter two in the top of your sky into May of 2023. And I spoke about this in the Jupiter special horoscope, and I will link to that below. But suffice it to say, yeah, it's a big month for you in love, in career, but also in your personal understanding and cultivation of meaningful enthusiasm of all there is ahead. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with Choose Your Membership Rate. Higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. I look forward to meeting you there. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.